Oftentimes, uh, people are prescribed opioids for a variety of reasons, usually pain. That's the most common. So, example, someone's had some surgery, uh, someone broke an arm or a leg, and, and certainly it's very painful. Uh, what oftentimes happens is, because of that release of dopamine, people have never felt so good. You have a broken leg and you're feeling the best you've ever felt, right? Something's wrong here, but you know, the medicine, the pain is gone and your dopamine levels are just sky high and you're, you're in a happy place in spite of the fact that you have a broken leg. At some point, you know, if your physician um, is mindful of, of your narcotic use, etc., he, she will be cutting it down, tapering it over time and eventually stopping it. But guess what? Some people are born this way. They really uh, enjoy feeling amazing. In, in the late 90s, uh, there was a huge push um, to really assess pain, to have all of our patients pain-free. And even the Joint Commission, which is an accreditation agency, made it a, a vital sign, a fifth vital, is assessing your pain. And so it became a huge problem because over years, we were judged on whether or not our patients had satisfactory pain control. And, and so folks would, would have surgery and be prescribed opiates for months and months at a time because they still had pain. And, they, and Medicare and Medicaid was making sure that we took care of that. And uh, suddenly now, in the last few years, there's been a huge switch, like, oh, we've caused a serious problem here, <laughs> you know. Prescribing pain medications for a long time is, is a problem. And so now folks are going to heroin. And because it's cheap, it's readily available, you can find it, but it's a huge step to go from popping or taking a pill or two or three or four to actually um, injecting something into your vein. You've really crossed a line when that happens. And uh, so many complications just to injecting yourself with, with drugs. And now in the last couple of years, we've had this little problem called fentanyl. Um, being laced in our heroin, and uh, also carfentanil. Fentanyl is a thousand times stronger than heroin. So if you inject normally just a few little milligrams, or milliliters rather, of heroin into your system, if it's laced with something that's a thousand times stronger, your chances of surviving that are pretty low, actually, if you use the same dose. But you don't know. It doesn't come with a label. It doesn't say, oh, we've got 10% fentanyl in here uh, to, to give you an extra boost. And the problem with that is, is opiates ultimately with high dosing will cause respiratory arrest or you'll stop breathing and, and then you die. And so that's why we're seeing so many opioid overdoses now is that in the old days, just heroin straight was, I mean, it's a huge problem, I'm not minimizing it, but compared to fentanyl and carfentanil, it's, it's, it was nothing. Carfentanil is 10,000 times stronger than heroin. It's an elephant tranquilizer. And it's being produced in China, and it's shipped over to the States, and it's mixed with heroin, and your chances of surviving that are pretty, pretty minimal. 